ChatGPT 4.0 or Flex Context. Today, I'm putting these two most powerful chat based image editing models on the market head to head using Design's chat editor. The chat editor lets you edit images just by talking to them. Literally, you can say things like change her outfit, add a hot dog, make it a winter scene, and the AI will make it happen. ChatGPT and Flex Context are two of the best models available for this. So today I'm testing them in real world challenges. Everything from character consistency, outfit swaps, style transfers, product markups, and even text edit. By the end of the video, you'll know exactly when to use each one and which model gives you better results based on what you're trying to create. Let's start by uploading an image and see how the editor works. On the project workspace of design, first let's upload a photo. And to use the chat editor, just click the image on the canvas, and then we can see the chat editor button at the bottom. Click chat editor to open the chat panel. Here you will see that the photo we selected was loaded to the panel, which means that we are going to put this as a reference image for the AI to edit. Under here, we can simply type in our prompt, like having a conversation with ChatGPT to edit the image. For example, let's try to repair this broken image. Let's say repair, restore, and colorize this broken image. In here, we can choose the Flux Context model and ChatGPT model at the moment. Next, we can select the aspect ratio of the generated image. For the context models, we have a lot more options. We can also use the auto default for the original aspect ratio. On the other hand, the ChatGPT model only allows three options at the moment. Let's try both models and see which one did a better job. After a short few seconds, context image is already done. Context usually generates images much faster than ChatGPT. For about 5 to 10 seconds, you can see the image, while ChatGPT typically takes almost a minute per image. And more complex prompts sometimes require even longer time. Look at this image. Context kept the original details pretty well. It filled in the torn edges, colorized the scene like a photo we can probably take today. And it also preserved the facial features and positions pretty accurately. ChatGPT, on the other hand, did more of a full remake. The faces look noticeably different, give a pretty blurry version of the edge. And it, it looks ambiguous what the edge could be. So context is good at following the prompt while preserving everything else intact. ChatGPT, on the other hand, typically requires more complete regeneration for any changes. And the results may look a lot different from your original. So this round go to context. Now let's try to see if it can remove watermarks with one prompt. So remove watermarks. ChatGPT rejected my image due to content policy. And it's not just judging the girl's outfit. It actually refused to do any watermarks removal because of copyright and legal issue. And Context is able to do this job perfectly without any concerns. This image almost feels like no watermarks ever exist on this image before. So ChatGPT does sometimes have stricter content policy that will refuse to do some jobs it sees as inappropriate. Character consistency. Keeping the same character truly consistent used to take a lot of work. You had to train the model and fine tune it. Even then, the results were hit or miss. But the reason models like ChatGPT 4.0 and Flux Context seem to break that spell, you can just ask them to change your character's pose, outfit, or scene, and they're supposed to keep the characters consistent. So let's test both and see how well they really handle character consistency. Let's swap the ice cream to a bag of churros so we can use natural language like swap the ice cream to a bag of churros. And here both models successfully replace the ice cream with churros, but you can clearly see that ChatGPT struggles to keep the character's facial features and the overall style consistent. ChatGPT always give up a signature polish, a slightly yellowish filter aesthetic. While Context actually holds on to those details more faithfully, we can also put her in different scenes and doing different actions. Let's try... The woman in red dress is eating a hot dog on the bench in an amusement park. Note that uh, it is best practice and better to refer your character with a visual tag, something like the woman in red dress or the man with glasses, just so that it reinforces which is the subject you're referring to to avoid confusion. ChatGPT followed the prompt pretty well. But once again, the facial features change, so it's not exactly the same woman. Context, on the other hand, maintained much better character and style consistency, but it missed the hot dog entirely though. With Context, 
sometimes you have to break it down into smaller steps to prompt step by step. So in this case, I simply added a follow up prompt like swap the ice cream to a hot dog. And that helps bring the result closer to what we want. Now let's see if the model can apply a dress from a reference photo onto the same character. Other than the character, we can upload another reference image here. And in the prompt, we said the woman is wearing the blue dress with dots. Flux context models struggle to accurately combine elements from two images. So in general, it doesn't handle complex combinations as well, especially when the task requires blending features from separate images rather than just placing them side by side. It requires more tries to get your desired results. On the other hand, JHGPT successfully put the dress on her and keep the look and background the same. But again, the facial feature would normally shift a little bit and applied a ChatGPT vibe that is different from the original. But it clearly understood the prompt better. Though the, the good thing is that the woman actually stayed consistent from the previous generation of ChatGPT. So you can kind of get a consistent result, it's just not the original character you assigned. Let's test again to see if we can use one image as a post reference to recreate the same character in that post. I uploaded a photo of a woman doing the popular follow me posts you often see on social media, where the boyfriend films from his perspective as the girlfriend walks ahead. Let's see if we can recreate something like this. And the prompt I put is, the woman in red dress is posing the same way as the girl in white dress in the other photo in the amusement park. Well, it's, this is the best way I can think of to naturally express what I'm trying to do. ChatGPT actually nailed the follow me post and understand the specific elements I wanted to extract from the reference image and combine with the other photo. And context, on the other hand, didn't quite understand. It kept placing both subjects in the same image instead of using one as a post reference. I tried a few more times, but the results were always the same. If you have a better prompt for this, feel free to drop in the comments. We'll love to try it out. So again, for multiple images with complex instructions, ChatGPT takes the win again. Let's see if we can place two characters in the same scene and have them interact naturally. In Design's chat editor, we can upload two separate character reference images and give a prompt like this. In this case, it's clear who is the woman and who is the man. So we can simply say the man and the woman and then their actions. But if your characters look similar, it helps to be more specific and include the character markers like the woman in red dress or the man in brown suit to relate the characters and to avoid confusion in order to get more accurate results. Both models passed the test and sort of gave us what we asked for. ChatGPT version giving us a more softer and polished and almost cinematic feel to the image. And context version is more grounded. It sticks closer to the literal prompt, but with less emotional punch. So once again, ChatGPT brings the creativity and cinematic vibe, while context has very strong prompt precision. We can generate multiple different scenes using the same method, and then use the image to video tools to animate these images. Putting these clips scene by scene together, we can turn them into a short film. We can also easily transform an image to reflect different season or time of day with a simple prompt. Once again, context keeps most elements consistent, but it's a bit strange seeing people in summer clothing standing in the snow. ChatGPT, on the other hand, was more intentional. It updated the background characters with winter outfits, which makes more sense but it also changed the color of the food truck, which wasn't part of the prompt. So overall, both models handle the scene well, but not perfectly. Another popular use case for these models is creating virtual try-ons. To visualize clothing on a model using just an image reference and a prompt. So for this prompt, create a realistic image of a female model wearing this dress with a neutral background. In this case, both models did a solid job replicating the dress. They capture most of the clothing details accurately. But if we're being picky, context feels more realistic here. And the textures are sharper and it looks more like a clean professional product a photo. We can also take it a step further and create a lifestyle shot for the same product just by tweaking the prompt to add more details in the scenes. For example, here we, we want to create a highly realistic image of a woman wearing this dress while enjoying a picnic outdoors. In this case, ChatGPT really nails the vibe. The scene feels warm, cinematic, and you can sense a little story in the moment. 
context sticks to the prompt and it gets the setting and outfit right but the image feels a bit flatter and somehow it didn't add the picnic blanket under and also it doesn't have the same emotional pull as the ChatGP version. But if you look a little bit closer, you'll notice that the cut at the waistline is actually more accurate in the context version. It matters because if you're using these images to sell the products, it's an important to be accurate on those details. So for realism and product accuracy, context is better. For mood and storytelling, ChatGPT takes the lead. We can also create product images by simply uploading our product as a reference image and write a prompt to define the environment, like this one. Both models did a decent job with product accuracy. The Stanley Cups lion icons is a little bit blurry, probably because it's too small, the image I uploaded, but the overall shape and the branding are still recognizable. With a bit clean up, I say both results are usable. This kind of prompt is great for quickly visualizing lifestyle product shots or even creating ready to use images for your e-commerce store. We can also use their strong adherence to our reference image and understanding of context to create logo mockup. Here are the mockup I created using a stationary kit using this logo. In this case, I think both models did a great job overall. Context slightly altered the bird logo on some of the smaller items, but aside from that, the results were solid. This is definitely a useful application for quickly visualizing branded assets. Let's test how both models handle text edits. I started with this neon sign product shot of a cat clinging to a coffee cup with the text cat and coffee. Using this prompt, I asked both models to change the cat to a dog for both text and the sign. Both models passed the test. Once again, context was more consistent with the original style and gave a cleaner and more precise edit. ChatGPT, as usual, gave us slightly more polish and a ChatGPT branded vibe. Maybe this is too simple. Let's try one with more text. Let's see if we can change the menu on this image. Part of the menu is actually blocked by Einstein's head. So I was curious to see how each model would handle that. So we have Meow Cafe as the title and some silly drinks names I asked ChatGPT to come up with to add more challenge to the test. The ChatGPT version actually did this pretty well. It understood that Meow Cafe should be the title and it adjusted the font size for hierarchy. It also correctly spelled all the quirky item names and even accounted for Einstein's head blocking part of the menu. So some text is naturally hidden, which makes sense. It did miss the last item though, but overall it really got the idea. On the other hand, context didn't quite understand the layout logic. It struggle with the hierarchy so and it didn't place the title prominently like ChatGPT, and it seemed unsure about what to do where einstein had blocked the board so as a result it didn't finish updating the menu and left out americano and mocha meal again for this example we know that context keeps a better style and character consistency when generating images but ChatGPT just understands the world better and can add in its own thinking a lot more than context we can also change our image into different styles simply say restyle 2 and then the style name so this is the original this is Simpson style, Studio Ghibli, and this is the anime style, Van Gogh style, and I, I say ChatGPT understand Van Gogh a lot better than context. And this is pixel art style. So what did we learn? Context is the precision tool. It stays true to your character and keeps the style more consistent and handles the detail edits like a surgeon. Well, not really a surgeon, but you know what I mean. ChatGPT, on the other hand, brings more creativity and storytelling to the image. It fills in the blanks, adds its flair, and understands what you're going for, even when you didn't spell out everything in your prompt. So both have their strengths, and with design, you don't have to choose. Try AR yourself with the link below, and let us know your thoughts about these models in the comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy creating!